Formula One, a continuously expanding sport, has predominantly utilized street circuits as a primary means of growth. However, this approach has sparked discontent among both drivers and fans. While the sport's investors are reaping substantial financial rewards, F1 drivers are vocal about their reservations regarding specific race venues. The recent decision by F1 to replace one of the iconic tracks on the calendar has intensified the drama within the paddock. F1 drivers are not willing to overlook this change, and if rumors hold, the F1 calendar is poised for a significant shakeup starting in 2026. This prompts the question of whether F1 is pushing the limits with its street circuit expansion, and what the drivers' perspectives are on this matter. F1 witnessed substantial growth since Liberty Media assumed ownership in 2017, but not without repercussions. Many of the recently added tracks, such as those in Miami, Jeddah, and Las Vegas, follow a street circuit format, which has garnered negative feedback from F1 drivers. Traditionally, street circuits were limited to races in Baku, Singapore, and Monaco, and even those were not among the most favored events. Nevertheless, F1 has shown a clear inclination toward investing in locations with lucrative returns, evident in moves to Saudi Arabia and Las Vegas. Despite opposition from a significant portion of the fanbase and drivers, the Las Vegas race turned out to be a spectacular success, defying skeptics. Some drivers argue that the current F1 cars are not well suited for tracks like these. Fernando Alonso in particular expresses dissatisfaction with the direction the sport is heading. In discussing the matter further, he advocates for expanding the F1 calendar to include tracks like Suzuka, Barcelona, and Silverstone. Speaking of Barcelona, there is speculation that this legendary track may be dropped from the calendar in 2026. Reports suggest it could be replaced by a street circuit in Madrid, the capital of Spain. While official confirmation is pending, the widespread F1 media coverage indicates serious consideration for moving the Spanish Grand Prix to the country's capital. The rationale behind this potential move includes the anticipation of a larger audience, a central city location, and significantly higher revenue compared to Barcelona's current contributions to the sport. F1 appears to have carefully deliberated on this decision, given that it involves one of the most iconic tracks on the grid. This circuit serves as the testing ground for teams evaluating their cars, offering a mix of low, medium, and high-speed corners ideal for assessing performance across various tracks throughout the year. Historically, Barcelona has been the go-to track for teams introducing significant upgrades, thanks to its diverse characteristics. The potential loss of this track could trigger heightened dissent and frustration among team principals, as they would lose a favored venue for optimizing their car's performance. Eliminating such a valuable resource for the sport would be regrettable, prompting the question of whether Formula One has become excessively focused on financial considerations. While the prospect of the Madrid Grand Prix appears promising, scrutiny reveals a peculiar aspect, a corner capturing a roundabout at a specific point on the circuit, an unusual feature not seen in other narrow tracks like Baku and Singapore, where such design challenges are effectively addressed. The revelation about Barcelona's replacement by Madrid in 2026 originated from Joe Sayward, who shared the news on his social media platform. According to Sayward, an official announcement will soon confirm Madrid as the host of the Spanish Grand Prix for the next decade. The race is slated to take place on a semi-permanent track around the IFEMA Convention Center near Barajas Airport. This situation echoes the broader trend of legendary and traditional tracks facing uncertainty. Spa, for instance, struggles to extend its deal with F1 due to financial challenges and safety concerns. The ongoing financial struggles spanning over a decade and infrastructure issues arising from the track's remoteness contribute to the predicament. However, these challenges should not necessitate the removal of one of the grid's most iconic tracks, a move that would undoubtedly infuriate a majority of F1 drivers. The drivers, led by vocal figures like Max Verstappen, have consistently expressed discontent with the increasing focus on street races, highlighting the significance of preserving legendary circuits. Verstappen, for instance, has been particularly vocal about the downsides of F1 visiting street circuits, emphasizing the uniqueness of traditional tracks. 
Delving deeper into this issue, Verstappen expressed, when it comes to circuits, genuine tracks are always more enjoyable to drive on. People may have their opinions on street circuits, but ultimately, that's not where a Formula One car truly belongs. I've conveyed to Stefano Domenicali that drivers must advocate for maintaining the essence of real racing, emphasizing that it's not solely about the external spectacle. Our focus should be on the core of the sport itself. Verstappen's stance against F1 cars racing on street circuits finds resonance with other drivers, notably Fernando Alonso, who shared his concerns about the recent street circuit in Vegas. Reflecting on this particular track, the two-time world champion believes that cars are not designed for the challenging features developed over the past few years. He contends that the focus has shifted towards glamour and entertainment rather than authentic racing. Alonso further notes that F1 cars aren't engineered to navigate slow corners at 80 km per hour, citing the example of signs setting a record of over 360 km per hour on the long straight in Las Vegas, highlighting the fun aspect when the showmanship is skillfully presented on the track. Despite drivers voicing their opinions, it appears that the FIA is reluctant to heed their suggestions on the sport's direction. The expansion of the sprint race calendar since 2021, coupled with the continued focus on spectacle and financial aspects, indicates a potential shift in priorities. The upcoming 2024 season is set to feature six races with a designated sprint weekend. A notable development is the driver's ability to separate the sprint race from the main event, allowing teams to work under Parc Ferme conditions before the race, providing flexibility for adjustments or repairs. Earlier this year, dissatisfaction with upgrades in Austin led Haas and Aston Martin to start the race from the pit lane. However, potential changes voted on by the FIA could eliminate such penalties in the 2024 season. It's evident that a significant majority of F1 drivers, backed by team principals, are dissatisfied with the sprint race format. Max Verstappen has even suggested abandoning the entire show and refocusing on traditional racing. Expanding on this, the three-time world champion asserted, we should eliminate the sprint weekend, allowing everyone to set up their cars in a more traditional manner. Moreover, Verstappen asserted that such occurrences wouldn't occur if the race adhered to traditional formats. The time crunch imposed on drivers and teams between FP1 and qualifying imposes unnecessary pressure on the entire garage, demanding maximum performance within limited time constraints. In alignment with this perspective, Lando Norris echoed similar sentiments, contending that teams derive minimal benefit from sprint weekends. The uncertainty about their standing, whether favorable or unfavorable, post-race contributes to the perceived lack of value. Christian Horner, reinforcing Norris's viewpoint, emphasized the pivotal role of fans in reshaping the sports narrative. Regarding the question at hand, Horner expressed, it's evident that sprints need to evolve. While I understand the concept of action on all three days for promoters and fans, sprints, in some instances, have been somewhat underwhelming. The absence of pit stops, maintaining grid order, and resembling a medal for a long run are aspects that need addressing. Introducing more racing elements requires careful consideration of consequences, such as reversing the grid or incorporating points. In light of these concerns, drivers have much to voice, especially if Barcelona is replaced by Madrid. Whether or not the replacement materializes, it underscores the gradual shift of the sport towards the interests of investors and financial gains, overshadowing drivers' preferences. The sport appears increasingly focused on maximizing benefits from each race. What are your thoughts on the potential Madrid GP? Share your opinions in the comments below.